Hello everyone, welcome to this video on the simplest battery that you could ever make. The battery is very very simple. Many of you don't know that you actually can grab a piece of coal, charcoal, from the garden, from any barbecue. Just grab it and get a small piece of aluminium foil, put them on top of a tissue, a napkin, which is soaked with lemon juice or vinegar and you got a battery. A battery is as simple as that, a piece of charcoal, which is carbon, and an aluminium sheet and basically between them some electrolyte. Electrolyte is the liquid that will kind of hold the charge and do the chemical reaction. And here is a tissue napkin with some lemon juice. And you can see actually it's generating some voltage around half volt just with these simple components. Now, to make a proper battery, something more advanced, using very much the same components, what you need to do is grab a good piece of charcoal. When I say a good one, people usually in videos, they say activated carbon. Well, I'll tell you something very simple. Grab your multimeter and test different pieces of charcoal and see the one that gives you the least amount of resistance, the one that's most conductive, basically. Grab that. That's a good piece. And make sure, obviously, you have the same distance, have the same distance between the probes, so your measurements are consistent. So the point is, the piece of charcoal that has the lowest resistance is the one that you should use. All what you have to do now is to crush it. Crush it and form a paste. To make the paste, what you need is some sort of glue. A very popular type of glue is PVA. PVA is the polyvinyl alcohol. It's basically the white glue that you use to um, stick papers together. So it's a very popular type. You buy it from any stationery, use that. Mix it and mix it with a lot of the charcoal powder, if you wish, after you make it a powder, and off you go you have almost one electrode, i.e. one side of your battery ready. What you have to do now is to get some curly wire, and I'll tell you why it's curly, uh, and basically wrap it around a small board, a small cardboard, basically, and uh, have it really kind of dense. Uh, the reason why you want it to be a bit curly is because I want you to increase the surface area, yeah? The more curly it is, the higher the surface area you get. Never mind, what you have to do now simply is just paint the paste, this charcoal paste, that you have the carbon paste, and cover the whole area of this wire. Now, I got this wire from, uh, you know guys, this metallic sponge that they use to clean dishes sometimes. So I got it from there. So you could use it, or you could have any wire around and use it as, we call it current collector. So whatever electrons the carbon will obtain will be collected by this wire. That's why we call it current collector. Make sure you completely cover it with the carbon paste and just bring a small tissue, a small napkin and put it beneath it. So squeeze the carbon between the tissue and the cardboard. Put a little bit of pressure on it and leave it to dry. Now, once it's dry, what you have to do is to punch a lot of holes in the cardboard. The reason why, I'll explain it towards the end, but simply you want as much oxygen as possible to penetrate through the cardboard and make it to the carbon. There's a reaction that's gonna happen between the oxygen and the carbon, and obviously the electrolyte. Once that's ready, you have one electrode, the carbon electrode, the positive electrode of your battery. Just bring a small piece of aluminum, aluminum sheets, aluminum foil, and just put it beneath the tissue. So you have a sandwich tissue between aluminum sheet and carbon paste. Wrap it well around it, Make sure you do not get the wire or the carbon that we talked about to touch the aluminium. You have two electrodes, they have to be separated by the tissue, by this napkin. What you need now is the last part of the battery, which is the electrolyte. Electrolyte is a liquid that will hold your charge or kind of act as the chemical reactor. What I've used for this is a liquid you buy from the shops to actually open the drains, yeah? So when you have blocked drain, so it's basically a drain and blocker gel. The important bit in this is this gel contains sodium hydroxide. In theory, you could use lemon juice or even vinegar, but sodium hydroxide certainly is a better material to use. Therefore, just get some of that, some of this drain and blocker, and mix it with some water, and this is where the chemical reaction is going to happen between the water and the sodium hydroxide as well as the carbon and the aluminium. I'm not a chemist. I've got this formula from a video. I'll put it for you down in the description. So feel free to uh, ask if you need about it. But it's a known method to make aluminium 
air, aluminum air battery. So that's why we made these holes. So what happens is that the oxygen through these holes that we made in the carbon electrode, they will react with the other elements in this battery. Simply pour some of this electrolyte, the mix of water and this gel, pour it in the tissue that is separating the aluminum and the carbon, and that's it, you've got a battery. Just go and test the voltage between the aluminum on the negative side and the wire, the little wire that's touching the carbon, and you're gonna get about one and a half volts. That is a really good voltage between the two. So from that one and a half volts that we've got, I was able to run a watch. So this is a timer that uh, is completely running from this little battery. So you see, you can make a battery out of very simple components. I presume everybody will have these components in their house. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. And don't forget to share this video for those who are interested in such things, in engineering, electronics, or chemistry. And don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.